We're here for the grand opening of First Mallorca's brand new office in the exclusive area of Port Adriano. With over a thousand guests to cater for by the wonderful Mark Foch, it truly is a wonderful event. The location is very special in that the marina has been designed by the world-renowned architect Philip Stark and the operators of Port Adriano have granted First Mallorca the exclusive right to represent the real estate business in their exclusive shopping mall. First Mallorca will be in very good company here with the famous luxury shopping store El Corte Inglés opening soon and several other big names to follow. First Mallorca started in 1995 when we came from Paris, actually, and then got on Seaport. So then we were selling a house here yeah, because I had a house a holiday home. And then seeing how the business was running, I thought there must be an opportunity here. So we started uh, in uh, 1995. We specialised in a small area in the southwest, so the west of Palma, which was Austin Glamis, and uh, Bendinath, and these sort of areas. Uh, so we got to know our sort of business very well, and then we expanded out. Well, after the crash uh, two years ago, or whatever it was, two and a half years ago, we decided that we would invest money for when it comes back again. So in the year, it was what, 2008, we actually spent more money in advertising overseas, like in the German, the Swiss, the Danish uh, markets, uh, for when it was, it's going to come back, which for us it has. So this year has been quite a good year. We're actually quite... we're. I have to say we're almost very busy. And do you feel that Port Adriano is definitely the, the place to be? I mean obviously you've just set up office here, but why particularly Port Adriano? I think because we had a gap in the area of Santa Ponza, because we were very strong uh, at Palma, west of Palma, a bit in the countryside, uh, extremely, uh, you know, we totally dominate the sort of Amblox market more or less. So we, we've always sold property in Santa Ponza from Costa and Blanis. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of very fine properties just behind this office up on the hill. So it's an obvious place to come. This is going to be quite a sort of upmarket place when it's finished. Yeah. We'll come back here next summer and all, it's all going to be open. And there's some sort of famous like Zanzibar, the German. If you're a Roman Catholic German, it's like going to see the Pope. You have to go to Zanzibar. So it's, it's a collection of restaurants, that sort of idea. So it, it's, you know, it's, a high, it's a good quality. We, we sell anything that's good quality, it can be 250,000 euros to 20 million. But uh, so, you know, it fits in with our style. The business is so busy here in Mallorca that the agency have plans to open a further three offices on the island before 2015. Uh, at the moment, I think the Eastern European markets, because remember that 25 years ago or 30 years ago there were sort of communists, nobody had any money to spend. So we have people here today that, that have told me, Robert, you have to remember that we, this is what they say, we have been working 25 to 30 years building our factories, our shopping centres, now it's time for us to spend the money. So they're selling the businesses. So, that, so after 30 years of working hard in a bad climate, they're, they're looking at Mallorca. Mallorca has such good you know, infrastructure, facilities, the hospitals, the dentists, the schools, the roads, and, and, and so many flights coming from all over the place. So anywhere that has a poor climate, that's two or three hours away, that's, that's a market for Mallorca. With an international team of 50 employees, service, and especially after-sales service, is a high priority, and one that they are particularly renowned for. First Mallorca's product range includes apartments, villas, thinkers, country estates, building plots, plus business and investment opportunities from their commercial division. In addition, another busy side of the business is promoting and managing the rental side of the industry, which is another busy area for the company to look after. The reasons for this always remain the same, in that firstly, Mallorca is a very desirable location in which to buy a holiday home or indeed to relocate to, as the island has not been oversaturated with new build development in the property sector. The directors of First Mallorca report that even in these difficult financial times, the Mallorca property market continues to hold up well. I know this marina since years. But it's grown a lot now, huh? Yeah, sure, sure. Do you, do you like what you see now? Yeah, sure. It's nice. It's incredible. If you were in the market, 
market for a new property here on Mallorca, what kind of property would you go for? In the moment? Yeah. No, I bought last week a flat. Yeah. The first Mallorca. Okay. So Robert, then, tell me, why do you think people are buying especially now in Mallorca? People are buying now because they remember the real estate always was a safe place to put your money. And we even have clients going to the extreme saying, you know, I, if I leave it in the bank, will it still be in the bank after this winter? But it's just that when you're buying real estate, if you go back over the 10 year periods that we always have some sort of recession or, or blip, then real estate, if you buy real estate in central London, if you buy it in the right place, a holiday island, the right island, then it will always come back because there's so many people out there in the world who are making money who want to buy in the right place. So people are very confident really to think, well, this property, I, I own it, I control it, I can rent it because people can, you know, they can get 60 or 70,000 euros a year for a, a, an average nice villa and uh, they still own it. It's theirs forever. Nobody can interfere with it. It belongs to them. So it's a safe place to put your money. It always has been, it always will be. Additionally, with its convenient travel links and the fact that the island is just two hours from most of Europe, people find Mallorca an easy place to get to and enjoy their property all year round. Another reason is, of course, that the island has a very diverse and beautiful landscape, which offers a stunning contrast between the wide, sweeping sandy bays to the east and the mountainous regions to the west. Combined with the vibrant and colourful city of Parma, Mallorca offers something for all of us to enjoy and spend quality time in. Also in attendance at today's event is the highly successful chef and restaurateur Mark Foch, who is here catering for today's guests with his highly skilled team. Mark has three first-class restaurants in Parma and has built up an enviable reputation. Hi, I'm Mark Foch and uh, here we are in Port Adriano. Uh, we are actually here today to help out our friends at First Mallorca who are opening their offices today, which is lovely to see them expanding and here in this beautiful location. We're doing the outside catering element today, which is fun for us. We're cooking for over a thousand people today, so it's a big challenge, but it's also been a lot of fun for the guys in the kitchen and also the guys out here serving. The event is an obvious success. There are many happy and relaxed faces, and there is a surprise in store in the shape of a local drum band from Parma who are raising the roof with their Latin rhythms and the soulful sounds of a local singer who will entertain well into the night. First Mallorca have clients who travel far and wide to purchase property here and many of the invited guests today come from many different countries. Given the strong attendance at today's event, it is good to see that there are many people who have an active interest in Mallorca's property market. And even though we're well into the second half of October, there are still many coming here to the island enjoying the continuing good weather which we have enjoyed all summer. For us, it's time to leave the party, so all that remains for us to say is we extend our best wishes for the future to the directors and staff of First Mallorca.